New York Giants first round selection. Quarterback Phil Sims, Moorhead State. New York Giants first round selection. Lawrence Taylor, linebacker, North Carolina. The New York Giants first round selection. Linebacker Carl Banks of Michigan State. The San Diego Chargers and the New York Giants have exchanged their draft picks. Eli Manning and Philip Rivers. With the second pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Saquon Barkley, running back Penn State. You know, having 12 picks is crazy. To a certain degree, obviously, it's a subjective exercise. You know, I think, and you're going to say I think. We have more players rated as first, second, or third round values than I've had in, in any draft. It's about watching the film and looking at the guy in terms of his character, who he is, and you take all that stuff into consideration. I mean, there are guys we'll take off the board if we don't think they're a cultural fit. Dave's very thorough. He picked up a lot of this stuff when he was in Carolina, and you know he's been around forever. So we eliminate a lot more players than we used to in the past just to hopefully fit the system and fit the culture in the team. Everybody's going to set a board. 32 teams, you might have 32 different ways of setting a board. Every guy you look at begins with a seventh round grade and then moves up or down based on him. You know, but it's about setting the board. That's the critical piece of it. We put the board together based on value. We'll have a row of like six or seven players. Then what happens is we get in discussions, whatever the scenario might be on draft day in terms of who we're going to pick. So that way there's not a lot of discussion, you know, when we have the allotted 10 minutes, we're in agreement with who we're going to do. And, but it's a decision we make as a group. Dave is very decisive. He likes to make the pick as soon as it becomes available, just to kind of tell people we know what we're doing. <laughs> Chris and the, and the college scouts on the boards, there's a lot of teams, those scouts are not in the room. Our guys are in the room during the draft. And our guys are in the room because I trust them, I believe in them. We want to be proud of every guy we draft, we want to be able to be proud of them. Welcome everyone to Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, and the 2019 NFL Draft. At six, there are a lot of really good football players. I take Dave Gettleman at his word. He's been honest about saying we're going to stick with the board. They could grab a player at six that could be a pro bowler for a long time. Somewhere in this draft, they've got to find the heir apparent to Eli. If you do feel strongly about a quarterback, I would not wait until 17 and see and pray and hope that he falls to you. Good evening, Nashville. The Arizona Cardinals select Kyler Murray. And so it is. With the second pick, the San Francisco 49ers select Nick Bosa. The drama is building. The New York Jets select Quinnen Williams. Cleveland Farrell. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Devin White. The New York Giants are on the clock. All right, let's check in on the war room cam for the New York football giants dave gettleman on the right he's the one making the pick we're going to find out if they love a quarterback or like a quarterback if they like a quarterback they'll wait till 17. if they love a quarterback we'll see it right here Duke. 
Daniel Jones is coming to New York. He's faced adversity. I think that was a big deal to Dave Gettle. I think he's got the whole package. There's no question. He's had the best quarterback coach in the country, David Cutcliffe. There'll be a lot of people happy for a lot of years in New York. It is a perfect scenario for a young quarterback to learn behind a great one. With the 17th pick, the New York Giants select Dexter Lawrence, defensive tackle, Clemson. Dexter Lawrence at 342 pounds, a dominant run defender. David Gettleman loves the big hog mollies. He got the biggest. The Here's Seattle the Seahawks have traded the 30th pick to the New York Giants. The New York Giants select DeAndre Baker. You know, there's no one more excited than I am for this opportunity. I think, you know, no one's going to work harder at it than I will. And my immediate goal is to be the best teammate I can and, you know, come in eager to learn. And, you know, I just can't wait to get to work. DeAndre Baker here, man. Ha happy to be a giant. Happy to be part of family, man. Let's do it. Hey, man, I'm, we're all happy for you. We're all right here. Thank you, Coach. You're a giant, baby. I told, I, I told you. I told you I won't go past 20. Hey, look. Listen. You went to the right place. The Giant went to the Giants. Julian Love here, excited to be the newest member of the New York Giants. Oh, man. Hey, Giants fans, it's Ryan Conley here. Super excited to be part of the New York Football Giants organization. I'm excited to be a New York Football Giant. Can't wait to get up there and go to work. Let's go, Big Blue! Where do we begin? I know. Where do we begin? <laughs> we got 10 guys, seven on defense, three on offense. We put blues on these kinds of guys because that's what you want to build around. We went into the draft trying to make our team better. They're great human beings and, and they're outstanding football players, so we're glad to add them to our team. We're thrilled to get Daniel. We really believe in this kid. He understands what's in front of him. I have no doubt he's going to come in and do everything he can to prepare himself. The second guy, we got me a hog molly. Dexter Lawrence can push the pocket. That's why we took him at 17, and we're thrilled. He's a great kid. The last guy we traded up for, we feel, is the best cover corner in the draft, a kid from Georgia, DeAndre Baker. And we feel like we got three guys that are going to impact this franchise for a long time. Notre Dame kid, Wisconsin, Auburn, Ballantyne. I mean, all those guys can run. We had a real quality draft, and time will tell. We've made progress. We're better today than we were a year ago. But things will continue to get better because everybody has a better understanding of where we're trying to go and how we're trying to get there. <laughs>